Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for September 1st, ah, the beginning of meteorological fall. Just saying that, it sounds cooler, but it's not going to be cooler. We'll be hot through Saturday. And boy, a system in the Gulf that's going to be just a nightmare to forecast. Uh, so let's just get right to it and we'll talk about it. First off, Skycam shot this morning. A look at Fayette, Alabama, the courthouse there. You know, they had a small earthquake there yesterday morning, a magnitude 2.1, very light. A lot of people didn't even feel it. Go down to uh, Chilton County. Look at downtown Clanton. Sky's clear. And there's the Auburn Skycam off in the distance. You can see Jordan Hare Stadium. And guess what? Yeah, you know college football kicks off this weekend. In fact, Mississippi State plays tonight, and Alabama and Auburn have home games uh, Saturday morning. I think for most of those games, rain will not be a factor, and it's going to be hot. But having said that, there will be a golf system not too far away. We'll talk about football weather as we go. And there's the water vapor satellite shot this morning. And uh, again, the, the heat ridge is actually expanding north. Uh, pushing the westerlies up toward the Canadian border. Uh, places like Cincinnati and St. Louis, they'll be pretty hot today um, and will be in the 90s every day through uh, Saturday. Uh, it's not going to feel like September, but then again, it's always hot in early September. Here's a look at highs yesterday. It was pretty pretty toasty over much of the country as that uh, heat really roared up into the high plains. But again, up there in uh, Canada, I see a couple of spots where highs were only in the 40s yesterday. It need to be the classic battle between the colder air to the north and this old hot summer air that's still trying to hang on for dear life. Watch warning map. Look at that. Flash flood watches up already for the uh, southeast parishes of Louisiana and the coastal counties of Mississippi. And the convective outlook today, slight risk up north, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and tomorrow again for the Great Lakes. All right. Rain for the next five days. Valid through Monday evening at 7. Yeah, we see that. Over a foot of rain around the mouth of the Mississippi. And up this way, we're going to you know, go ahead and forecast increased rain chances Sunday and Monday. But it is a very low confidence forecast, as you'll see with the modeling. This is suggesting we pick up about a quarter to one half inch of rain up here uh, between now and Monday evening. Might be nothing, might be five inches. Depends on the tropical system. Let's take a look. We'll talk about this. Uh, first off, we've got... Katia, the hurricane that's in the uh, central Atlantic, and then the disturbance in the Gulf that will be Lee, Tropical Storm Lee. Uh, Katia is a minimal hurricane, went to 75 miles an hour, about 45 uh, west, 17 north. And uh, again, I'm, there's the NHC track and very high confidence in this one. This one's the easy forecast. Should be a major hurricane well northeast of Puerto Rico by Monday night. This should be a recurving storm, not affecting the United States. Uh, the only potential issue is the island of Bermuda. But this is the old booger bear right here. This is a not a depression now. It's disorganized. It's just a, an open wave. But most models do develop this into Tropical Storm Lee. And talk about a spaghetti plot. What a can of worms. And the deal is the steering currents collapse. And there's a real chance that uh, this thing could sit down there. For days, it's basically most of the tropical models have it sitting off the Louisiana coast for five days. And this could bring some huge rain amounts to uh, the central Gulf Coast, maybe as far east as the Florida panhandle. But again, maybe is the key word. If you got a beach trip, just don't panic it. I'd go on down there, but just be aware it could rain. It could rain a lot, especially if you're going to be at Gulf Shores or Orange Beach or, or Pensacola. The farther east you go, the, the, the total should drop off. But even Panama City could see a lot of rain from this. It all depends on the structure and the motion. Now, the intensity forecast, I don't, you know, the, the, I know that the water is warm in the Gulf, but I don't think it becomes a major hurricane. And the models agree with that. A couple of them bring it up to Category 1 status. Most don't. Uh, I think the main issue here is just a whole lot of rain, which can be a good thing. You know, uh, we, we need a good one or two days soaking up here. And there's the deal. We've got a pretty good bit of shear across the Gulf, and that should prevent this thing from getting out of hand in terms of the intensity at this point. All right, let's look at some modeling. Uh, other than those tropical models, this is the RPM. 
Uh, it brings it into the Louisiana coast Saturday night about 9 o'clock is maybe a Category 1 hurricane. And obviously, you know, with these things, the the greatest rain is going to be along and east of the center. And, uh, you know, if they're really tight, it might be Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama. But if it's, you know, broadly organized, it could be all the way to, you know, Panama City, where you got that heavy rain, strong onshore wind, and some coastal flooding. But that's just one model run. Let's look at the European. Kind of does the same thing. Brings it up into Louisiana and ultimately South Mississippi. And at this ride, it would really wet us down. This would be a good thing. We need that rain. But look at the timing down there. Are you kidding me? This is the end of next week. This is Friday morning, September 9th, like eight days from now. (laughs) The, The European takes it way down there in the southwest Gulf, and it slingshots the thing back up in here at the end of next week. So, uh... You know, what it's telling us, we don't need to be enhancing rain chances Sunday or Monday. We need to do it in about seven or eight days. And then you got the Canadian that, that takes it to South Texas, down around South Padre Island. And uh, we just don't see much rain from it at all here. Oh, boy. And look, the deal is it's not organized. We don't have the, you know, the Gulf Stream drops on data for the models. It's just too early to really you know, worry about it or or come up with a specific solution. All we can do is just, you know, based on, make a forecast based maybe on climatology and things like that. But I do think this thing's going to meander around down there and give forecasters like me a nightmare job for the next five days or so. Let's look at the GFS. This is the uh, OZ run ballot at seven o'clock this evening. Heat Ridge expands. Uh, It'll be pretty hot. And again, uh, we'll be in the 90s today. And like yesterday, there might be a speck or two on radar, but most folks stay dry. Same thing tomorrow. And there's Lee, the surface low getting its act together down there below the Louisiana coast. Heavy rain coming up toward uh, uh, Mississippi and Alabama's Gulf Coast. But again, for high school football, don't think rain will be a big problem. Could there be a shower in the evening? Yes, but probably not very many. All right. Saturday starting off the weekend. Lee is near Buris, Louisiana. Very heavy rain falling. If this is right, and it's a big if, Mobile Bay, Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Destin, Panama City, Pensacola. Messy down there, very wet. But up here, we stay dry, and we're going to lean that way in the forecast. For the Alabama, the Auburn game, uh, Saturday morning, 11, 11.30 kickoff there, we'll mention only an outside chance of a shower. If anything, Auburn would have a little better chance, but even there, I don't think we'll, rain will be a big problem at this point. And it's going to be pretty hot with uh, low 90s at both those sites. Tuscaloosa might even see mid-90s Saturday afternoon. All right, Sunday, the the thing just sits there. It it doesn't move at all. Deeper tropical moisture comes up this way. We we turn wet if this is right Sunday. A cold front coming in from the north. Could be very wet Sunday, Sunday evening. And then by Monday evening, we get into drier air. And Lee is drifting southwest. Um. You know, we've got enhanced rain chances uh, Sunday and Monday, but if this is right, by Monday evening, that rain will be gone as the the drier continental air drops in, and by Tuesday, we go dry. Lee is drifting southwest down toward the southern tip of Texas. Wednesday, we're dry. Lee is a weak surface low near Brownsville, Texas. And, of course, off on the right, that's Katia that's recurving, and, again, it's very close to Bermuda, but, again, we would be in very dry air by Wednesday of next week, and there's Thursday, we're dry. And uh, we'll go to the 10th, uh, Saturday, September 10th, just dry as a bone. Now, remember, at the end of next week, the European brings Lee up in here with soaking rains, about eight days. So just a whole lot of uncertainty here, and we'll present all the facts and everything we know in these videos. We'll check the end of the forecast, September the 16th. Still looking for that big trough to get us in the 40s. It's not going to happen with that, of course. And uh, down below that, another tropical system over in the Atlantic showing up. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.